Uh, thank you. So I'm going to shift us a little bit away from the sort of uh, pill example and the uh, this particular line to go to a question from community member Stephen Rodriguez. Uh, Stephen has asked us, uh, and this one comes up a lot. He's asked us, how do you think that the spread of NFTs will affect the real estate market? And how long would you say it will take to experience a real change in the market mm. because of these technologies? Well, I think we're seeing real changes now, but I, I think I understand what the question is in terms of the, the profound change that might occur when real estate itself is more um, prevalent in its tokenization and in how, let's say, title is actually moved on blockchain. So starting with the, the last one, I'm not very optimistic uh, in, for a short term shift uh, in, say, a title in this country, in other countries, I, I can see it happening very quickly. Um, we have to we have to separate in our minds this excitement about exponential technology while we're living in a very linear wor world of bureaucracy and of, of uh, the, 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 the wheels turn very slowly, not only because of bureaucracy and the, the need to you know, educate uh, and communicate to lawmakers, but there are vested interests in place for every inefficiency. It's not like, oh, my God, this is amazing. We can save money. We can move things quicker. Well, what about all the people making money on all the inefficiency and, uh, just, and not just graft, but just normal, normal, you know, healthy and and um, let's call it perfectly legal uh, jobs <laughs> that are not needed if you actually thought it through better. Um, that's not that's not going to go away anytime soon, but that's OK. Because what we are going to get, I believe, in the short period is much more regulatory clarity around things that you can do legally. So it's one thing to change the entire system and then say, OK, uh, if you own this NFT, you own this piece of land legally. That's going to take a while. But what, what, what's going to happen sooner is a lot more clarity with people understanding how they can band together, tokenize real estate, distribute it, manage it in DAO-like structures. Hmm. Uh, that's going to happen uh, really, really imminently, and it's going to be fundamentally important. Now, the other things that are maybe less profound but are happening already have to do with how the metaverse is going to um, impact uh, experiencing real estate. You may want to rent something, so you, or you may want to build something. Right now, it's it, for decades probably you can go into CAD models and understand it in 3D, but it's only recently that you could rapidly go in a, in a social environment. And experience it together and understand uh, that in, in, in a different model. And it's also only recently that communities can be formed around living environments so you can get to know your neighbors even before you buy something and understand how they interact with one another and communicate. And then, of course, the, the, the ties of neighbors between one another and those social ties are going to be strengthened by this model, which is going to change real estate prices. Uh, and then we're already seeing NFTs used as proof of participation tokens, where if you show up to something, you get uh, you get something. So right now, you see NFTs largely being used as maybe static devices of speculation. But but the, sh the major shift that's happening in the world is moving from speculation to engagement. Uh, this notion that I could go into an open house in real estate and take an NFT brochure off the table by scanning a QR code, which not only gives me information about the, the house, but keeps me up to date on the bidding and the pricing and, and the communication back to the realtor or the owner. That is something that is new and I think is going to have a profound change on uh, the real estate market. Mm -hmm.